Hello, happy believers. Trust is a scary word today. Who do we trust? Who can we trust? Why don't we trust? We all have our own life experiences, which lead us to our own answers. God says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe and share. Reflection. It would be too easy for me to rely on my favourite scripture verses on trust. So I am going to look at some of the Psalms and what they say about trust. When we find it difficult to trust people and to trust in people or our finances, etc., God always says, trust him first, for he knows the plans he has for us. Psalms build us up, give us confidence that we are not on our own, but we have a loving God guiding us, who we can trust in all areas of our lives. A very popular psalm is, The Lord is my shepherd, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 27 Verses 5 to 6. For in the day of trouble, he will hide me in his shelter. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be held high above my enemies around me. At his tabernacle, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music. To the Lord. Psalm 16, 8 to 11. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices, my body also will dwell securely. For you will not abandon my soul to shoal, nor will you let your Holy One. See decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. Your protector will not slumber. Behold, the protector of Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is the shade on your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will preserve your soul. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Psalm 62 Rest in God alone, O my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honour rest on God, my strong rock. My refuge is in God, 
Trust in him at all times. O people, pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. Reflection. There can be all sorts of trust issues. Trust in relationships, physical safety, financial trust, emotional safety and truthfulness issues. Whatever the issue, God is saying to us to trust him first as he can be trusted as he is a faithful God. Even if our trust is shattered, shaky or broken, God is not like humans. He is always there for us. He is our safety net, always there, ready to catch us. We are safe. It takes time, like Jeremiah and Joshua in the Old Testament, who struggled so much with trust and fear, but in the end had complete trust and were fearless. This is what they have to say. Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 7 to 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who confides and whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear When heat comes, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in the year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Jeremiah 29 verses 11 to 14 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord. I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. Joshua chapter 1 verse 19 Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. I will just finish with the beautiful interaction Jesus had with Martha and Mary. It was so natural and honest. Jesus visits Martha and Mary. Luke chapter 10 verses 38 to 42. As Jesus and his disciples went on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him, Jesus, into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat down at the feet of the Lord and listened to his teaching. Martha was upset over all the work she had to do. So she came and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled over so many things, but just one is needed. Mary has chosen the right thing and it will not be taken away from her. Reflection Martha was upset because she was left to do all the work and challenged Jesus saying, Lord, don't you care? And Martha continued on to tell Jesus what to say and do. Tell her to come and help me. Doesn't this sound just like us? How we react, even when it comes to dealing with trust issues. We become demanding like children. I want it now, and I will tell you how to sort it. We can play God. But Jesus said, no, Martha, you are worried and troubled over so many things, but just one 
is needed. And Mary demonstrated that by sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to his teaching, was the one thing needed. Jesus never minces his words. I do feel for Martha. Also, generations later, in every trust issue, difficulty, etc., Jesus is still saying, there is only one thing needed. Yes, it is Jesus, now fully present to us as the Eucharistic Jesus at Mass or sitting with him in the Adoration Chapels, his teachings available to us in the Bible. Please like, subscribe and share so we can all live our wonderful Catholic faith together in all its richness. Next painting, very, very soon, watch this space. Until then, remember, put all your trust in God.